Okay, we're going to get this meeting started. If you have questions that um, come to mind during the presentation, you can always click on chat and type your question in there, and we will take those questions first after the presentation is over. And we are recording this meeting, and that will be posted to the project page um, within two days. And I'm going to pass this over to Brenda Oropesa, your project manager. Thank you, Sally. So thank you for joining us tonight. This is the West Wind Department of Water and Sanitary Sewer Improvements Construction Meeting. During today's agenda, oh. all right, during today's agenda, we will be going through introductions, an overview of the project, the area being affected, and um, answering some frequently asked questions. Your project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is Brenda period Oropesa at fourth word Texas spelled out period gov. And our inspector is Steven Martinez and his number is 682-432-5485. And his email address is Steven S-T-E-P-H-E-N period Martinez at Fort Worth, Texas, period gov. Right, um, our contractor for this project is Circle C Construction and we do have Keegan on the line. And our engineering design consultants um, is Shield Engineering and Byzantiner Engineering and we also have Brian and Rhonda on the line as well. So why are we doing this project? Fourth Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data we have um, to in, including water main break history, like leak history, CCTV inspection, which is when they pass those cameras through the existing sewer lines, the age of the line, material of the line, and if there are any alleged services on that line. The project provides for the replacement of both aging deteriorated sewer lines and water mains that are located within the project area. Project overview, a water line and sanitary sewer line located in an easement in the West Wind Department complex at 4300 Old Benbrook Road will be replaced. The complex is bound by Pensacola Avenue to the north, Old Benbrook Road to the east, Ewing Avenue to the south and businesses to the west that front the Benbrook Boulevard um, Highway 377. The capital improvements project is in Council District 3 and it will affect the Bomber Heights Neighborhood Associ Association area. Right here we have a, ma a map kind of showing the water and sewer improvements. The sewer improvements are in green, as you can see on the map here, and the water is in blue. So that will, those will be the lines we're replacing. So the existing six inch in diameter water line between Pensacola and Ewing will be replaced with an eight inch in diameter HDPE pipe using the pipe enlargement method. And we will also be replacing the existing six inch in diameter concrete sewer line between Pensacola and Ewing um, with an eight inch in diameter HDPE pipe, also using the pipe enlargement method. So what is pipe enlargement? Pipe enlargement is a trenchless method of pipe replacement that minimizes disruptions when replacing water and sewer mains. So pipe enlargement opens the existing pipe, a bursting tool, which you can kind of see depicted here, um, is pulled through the existing pipe and is replaced with the new line. So the bursting tool is pulling the new pipe behind it. So the existing pipe um, is actually being burst and immediately replaced with the new line. How will this impact residents of the complex? So parking will be impacted by the construction equipment and traffic. Um, we will be providing traffic control where the contractor is working to allow movement in and out of the apartment complex. How will this impact area residents and businesses? So surrounding residents and businesses that access Pensacola Avenue to get to Benbrook Boulevard will have a detour when we're making the connections. Um, you kind of saw and on the first map and the contractor will have detour signs in place if needed. 
will our water be turned off? So water will be turned off for approximately 15 to 30 minutes when the services are transferred from that existing line to the temporary water line and when the services are transferred from the temporary water line back to the new water main. So these switchovers are done during the day and the contractor will notify management um, at the apartment complex when the contractor needs to make those switchovers. Um, if there's any problems, please let the contractor know. Um, how does the temporary line impact the apartment and residents? So the temporary water line makes sure that you're not without water during construction. In the summer months, um, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Um, customers should also keep their faucet stripping, but this project should be um, concluded by late summer. So we shouldn't be dealing with the um, freezing issues. The apartment complex's bill for water usage on the temporary water line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. So will our sewer service be disrupted during construction? The sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at each building and the sewer cleanouts um, allow our field operations crews to go out and see help kind of help um, identify where there's a backup if it's on the private side or if it's on the city side and the sewer line from the clean out to the apartment complex is the complex's responsibility to maintain will lines lanes be closed during construction so the contractor will need to close lanes when needed to make um, the connections to the laterals we kind of saw on the first map um, the contractor will be providing traffic control the hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested, 9 to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. And signs will be posted to alert mo motorists. What happens if the property is damaged? So the property will be restored after construction is complete. The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before they start their construction. We also encourage the property owner to take pictures and video with date stamps of their property prior to construction. Damage resulting from the contractor's activities during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. How will we know when construction is starting? If you live in an area impacted by construction, you will receive a door hanger from the city of Fort Worth. Um, one will say construction starts in seven days, which you can kind of see on this um, exhibit and the second will say construction starts tomorrow. And the inspector will include um, his business card on there. So timeline, so construction is set to start October 10th. I know um, Keegan might get some equipment out there before the contractor will start on Pensacola Avenue side of the project and the sewer line will be replaced first. Um, the project is expected to wrap up in late summer of 2023. Right here, we kind of see um, what flushing the water line looks like. So um, we, when you see this, don't be alarmed. Um, before the contractor can connect services to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from flushing the line is continuous until the inspector is able to take samples for that day. And we do require two consecutive samples to pass bacteriological tests um, to make sure the water is safe to drink. It's safe potable drinking water. Once the samples pass, water service will be restored. Where can I get more information? You can go to www.fourthwordtexas, all spelled out, .gov, and type in the project number 103324 in the search bar on the home page. The title West Wind Apartments Water and Sewer Improvements will pop up and this will take you to the project page related to this project. To get project updates, you can scroll down to the bottom of that page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to the project summary frequently asked questions and this presentation will be linked to the project page. Right? Um, if you do have an emergency or non-emergency you would like to report um, you can call our water call center from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday. 
and that number is 817-392-4477, and they are closed city holidays. Or if it's an emergency, you can call that same number, 817-392-4477, and select option one, and that includes um, water main breaks, sewer backups um, 24 hours a day. There is also a app available on the Google Apps, Google Play Store or App Store, Apple. Um, you can download it, it's MyFW. And on that app, you can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, violations, um, lack of water service, water pressure issues, or other sewer concerns. All right, so here we have my information and Steven's information as well. My name is Brenda Oropesa. My phone number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is Brenda period Oropesa, O-R-O-P-E-Z-A at fourthwardtexas.gov. And the inspector for this job is Steven Martinez, and that is 682-432-5485. And his email address is Stephen um, with the PH period Martinez at fourthwordtexas.gov. All right, thank you. I'll hand it over to Sally to answer um, or to ask any questions that were asked in the chat. Brenda, we don't have anything in the chat, but can you go back to the timeline? Yes. Slide? Can we correct that? Because you said October. Oh. I'm surprised Keegan didn't say anything. I didn't realize I said October. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, anybody, um, I don't know who the call-in user is. is. Does anyone have any questions? Do we have anybody on here from West Wind? Go ahead. Okay, let me just run down the list here. Brian, do you have any questions? Comments? Okay, Max? I'm sorry, no. Okay. And Rhonda? No, ma'am. Okay. All right, um, I think we talked about this initially. What happens is the video um, of this WebEx meeting is turned into a YouTube video and that's gonna be posted to the project page. And the, um, P, the we'll do a PDF of the PowerPoint if you don't wanna watch the video and that will also be on the project page. And hope to also have the summary FAQs on there. Brenda, is there anything? Go ahead, anything we missed, Brenda? No, nope, I think that covers everything. I'll go ahead and um, go back to this slide. I guess if they're on this page, if they access the PowerPoint or the website, then they'll have, I don't need to really go back to this page actually. <laughs> All righty, I think. Okay, that thank you everybody. Work. Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thank you. All right.